Hi, I'm Chuck Dorset for Weaver Leather Supply, segment two in our series. We're going to create our tooled pattern from scratch. We're going to go with a feather, one of my absolute favorites, and we're going to go this route for a number of reasons. We'll talk about that, but we're also going to look at the tribal. This has got some real pluses to it. All right, so anything I use in this video, weaverleathersupply.com or check below. We've got links there, going to take you straight to our website. But also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So let's step over here, get creative. This is my favorite part of every project. I love to create a design, add that as decoration, and then that's great motivation because now I can't, I can't wait to see how it comes out. We're going to go with a feathering for a couple of reasons and we'll get around to that. Now I mentioned we don't have to be creative and we don't have to be artistic. Absolutely. All kinds of great pattern packs out there. In fact, from simple to complex and all kinds of subject matter. In fact, with these, we typically will get some tricks and tips from the artist. We can look at books, magazines, catalogs, Google, great source, because here we can type in any subject matter and we'll get more images than we can, than we can look at. But if you're going with Google, I would say type in your subject matter and then silhouette. That's going to give us a black and white image much easier to trace from. If it's too big, too little, let's just jump over to our printer, enlarge or shrink that pattern, and it's going to fit right in wherever we want it. Okay, switching gears. We're going to go with a feather for a couple of good reasons. First off, very simple to design. We're going to create our own. Secondly, if you've never picked up a swivel knife, you're going to be happy with the outcome. We don't need a lot of tools here. And in fact, if friends, family, neighbors come by my shop and anybody wants to dabble a little bit in tooling, I'm going to pull out a feather. All right. So let's start right here. The basic shape of a feather, four lines. That's all we're talking about. So let's drop in two lines and let's bring one a little bit further. There we go. Let's clip that off. Well, there we go. We're already starting to look like a quill, right? Now our second two lines, let's just draw some lines parallel. There we go. We're on our way to a feather. Now down here at the bottom, let's just draw in an easy point. Good. And up here at the top, let's bring that line into our quill. Okay. Well, there's a feather. It already looks good. It already looks like a feather. Well, let's, let's add a little detail. And with these, we can go from simple to absolutely full blown, but we're going to go somewhere in the middle. So right here, let's break this up a little bit. We've seen the feathers, how they've got breaks, right? So let's come down to a point and then let's back up, maybe add a little curve to that, giving it the feel that the feather is curving. All right, let's bring that in and right to a point. Let's do that again down here. All right, looking good. Let's do the same thing on the other side, but let's mix it up a little bit. Maybe add one over here, right in the middle. And maybe one down here at the end. Well, that's very cool. Okay, we've got a basic feel for a feather. Well, let's do this. What kind of an area do we need to fill? So I've got right here to save us a little time. I've drawn in the flap of our pouch and right here I've added a line or two marks. That's the top of our, or that's the, the beginning of our bend. So let's go ahead and draw that in. There we go. Well, there's our area. We need one more thing though. We're going to drop in a snap. Now these are about five eighths of an inch. The cap size on a, on a line 24 is about five eighths of an inch, or I think that's about 1.5 give or take centimeters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw in my five eighths and again, the templates, but notice too, I, I kind of skimmed over this. Notice all the tools out here to help us out with our artwork alone. So let's draw in our snap. Now we know exactly the area we need to work with on our feather. We're going to cross these over. And this is one of the things about leather work. We can manipulate every detail on the project. That good example right there. Let's say our belt loops. We could always drop in a simple little camo design. What a nice detail. The point there is every piece of part, every element of a project can be creative. Okay. Let's, yeah, I know I, I get on a roll there, but let's do this. We can take our feather. We can run one along the edge. 
We could drop in two or three along the edge, maybe stack those. We can do one straight across, but I know we're rolling again, but what we're gonna do is, much, there we go, there's our design. So we're gonna drop in two feathers. We're gonna have one come across and one come across, kind of circling somewhat our snap. So therefore, let's do this. If we come in, say about maybe three eighths, half inch from our edge, we're gonna need a feather about four inches long. Easy enough. Width-wise, well, about an inch. So again, just in that neighborhood. This does not have to be exact. In fact, the less perfect, the better on a feather. So let's start right here. I'm gonna draw in a box, one inch by four inch. And there we go. So our box, that's about two and a half by 10 centimeters. And I could have gone, I could have gone pencil there. Right here, we've got some great French curves, all kinds of possibil possibilities here for drawing in our designs. I mean, I love these, but it's a little too much of a bow for my feather. So let's go up to a little bit larger French curve. Now in our box, we're just gonna try to remain roughly in this. If we're a little over or inside, we're okay. But let's start right here, drawing a quill. There we go, and I'll draw this in with pen. But now let's just move this, move this end to right there. Easy enough, let's add a cut to the end of that. Now, on either side, we're gonna come out about half of an inch. We could certainly measure this, but let's just eyeball that. And I'm gonna start just below my quill, and I'm gonna stop just above the end. There we go, okay. On this end, let's just bring both in to an easy point. And on this end, let's join back into the quill, little bit of an S shape there. There we go. Okay, it's already looking like a feather, nice. Let's add some detail. So we're gonna use some S shapes. And if we think about it, the, the, I, think these are, I think these are called the veins. Let's start on the outside and just make an easy S shape into the quill. Let's do that a little further down, but bring that right in. Good, let's do that again, further down. All right, very nice. Let's do, let's say one on the other side. Well, that is looking good. How easy is a feather? I'm gonna trace this in with pen. And our cut. Again, how easy is that? That's a good looking feather, okay? Next step, this is tracing film. It's one of the most helpful tools in our shop. Now, I've got this as, a, as an example, but if we wanna to tool the cub onto some leather, the tracing film, that's gonna help us do that. So on this, down here at the bottom with a pencil. Now this has got a gloss side and a matte side. And really sometimes it's a little hard to tell which, just it doesn't really matter. It's a little easier to draw on the matte side. So down here at the bottom, let's draw in our feather with pencil. There we go, looking good thus far, okay? Let's cut this piece out. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw in my pouch flap. And our snap, there we go, easy enough. So right here, this is a little easier if I work with some white paper behind this, but let's take our feather. I'm gonna drop this on this side. Now, we can absolutely measure this out but I'm just gonna eyeball it because it'll be easy enough to line up the other feather. You'll see where I'm going with that. So let's drop this in and it, again, we can absolutely tape this down, but for the most part, easy enough to lay that right in there. Okay, so really, I know, I'm, I'm working this around. I'm coming in about three eighths, maybe a quarter of an inch on both sides, and we're gonna drop this down on the right side of our feather. So let's trace this in.
Okay. Now, if you're having trouble staying in the lines, don't worry about it. It's a feather. We're not supposed to. It's supposed to look a little bit rough. All right. Let's take this piece, flip that over. Cool. Now we've got a mirror image. Let's see if we can drop this in on the other side and work that into where it's even. Well, that looks good right there. One thing we've got to remember though, this feather is going to go under this feather. So let's draw in our, the tip of the feather here. And let's just draw in two lines of our quill, skip over. Now let's join up and finish this feather. And there we go. How easy is that? That, yeah, we can see it a little bit better with some paper behind us. How cool is that? We've created our own design. How good does that look? Now, on this end, let's go ahead and cut out. Let's see, where's my square? There we go. I know I spend my whole day looking for things. Let's cut our pouch flap out. Good. Now, all we have to do is lay this on our leather, but our edges. And there's our design that is ready to transfer over to the leather. Now I mentioned the tribal let's reset here. We'll take a look at that. When we look at tribal, it is just a series of bands or bars. That's all it is. But because of that, this lends itself to any and every subject matter. We're going to look at a heart, but we could go with a golf ball, a 57 Chevy, uh, say a buck. Now there's a cool idea for brainstorming. We could take the antlers and work those into a very cool pattern. The point is we can go so many ways here. If you're new to leather, it's a great design. First off, fun to work with. But secondly, we're only using three tools. So therefore, you're going to be very happy the first time you step out. Okay, enough of that. Now on our heart, we're going to draw up here. We're just going to get a feel for what our design is. Down here, back to our original flap. Once we know what we're doing, then we can work this into our design. But say a heart is easy enough. I'm going to use my round template. Let's just for now pick right there, just any hole. And let's back, let's back up. Let's make a full circle there. Let's come next to that. Do the same thing again. Well, our hearts coming together. Let's jump over to one of our French curves. Now with this, we can go all kinds of ways. We could bring this down. Let's say about right there. Use that curve. We could make a very stylized heart, make a good hard point on that. So many ways we can go with this. In fact, I tell you what, let's draw this in in pen because the pencil is just not working for us. Well, there we go. We've got a heart. In fact, a very stylized heart. We can go so many ways. This is so indicative of leather craft. With this design alone, we have unlimited options. Okay. Our next step, we're going to drop in quarter inch lines around this. So we can always rely on our template. In fact, good trick. We're using a one inch hole here. What we need to do now is jump up to a one and a half inch. If we think about it, we want a quarter inch line. Well, that's going to give our one inch quarter, quarter, one and a half. So now we can draw this in. There we go. And we can always use our French curve to bring this around. Well, that's not necessarily going to work when we're out here. Now the French curve will, but if we're going to line up our, a second line to this, we can always go with our, with our wing divider and I can drag this along. The camera's not going to pick it up, but if I drag that along, that gives me more than enough impression to see. Well, there we go. Easy there, but also the old, the old compass from our school days, great tool in our leather shop. That'll do the same thing for us. So again, easy enough to draw out our lines. Once we get this down, once we get our design settled, we can drop this in to our pouch flap. Now, if we think about it, and this is a good trick, let's jump back to say, we're going to use a bull, maybe say a bull skull. That would look great, but our horns are going to turn into our tribal. If we think about it. We're going to have to work this side. Then we're going to have to jump over here. We're going to have to make sure it's the same. No, in fact, we don't have to go to any of that trouble. Let's go straight to our tracing film with this. We simply work half of our design. We'll draw this in. Now let's flip our tracing film over and just trace from the rest of it. In fact, now, even if it's not perfect, it's going to look like it is because it's that way on both sides. So yet again, the tracing film, big help to us. So if we rely on our tools, not only will we get a very accurate design, it's a lot of fun to play with it. Okay. So let's wrap up segment two there. Segment three, 
We're going to form our pocket, wet form our pocket. We're going to case our leather and tool in our design. Looking forward to that one. The official title for segment two is let's create our tool design. But I think the bigger point here is this. Let's pick a subject matter, any subject matter. Let's sit down at our table with a piece of paper, a pencil, some tools, and let's see where it takes us. And in fact, that's indicative of every step in leather craft. There are unlimited possibilities, and that's the best part of our craft. Now, segment three, let's wet form our pocket. We're going to case and tool our leather. Looking forward to that one. I hope this is good information for you. Good luck with your projects. Mm -hmm.